The quality of your life is in direct proportion to the amount of uncertainty you can comfortably live with. Have you ever paused to consider how much of your life is truly your own? Take a moment, reflect. How many of your daily actions stem from your genuine desires? And how many are merely reactions to the expectations of others? You see, most people sleepwalk through life following a script written by society, their parents, their peers. They wake up one day, years down the line, wondering where their dreams went, but not you, not anymore. Today, we're going to shatter that cycle. We're going to learn how to seize control of our lives, to act with purpose, and to enjoy every moment on our own terms. Now, you might be thinking, easier said than done. And you're right. It's not easy. But let me tell you something nothing worth having ever is. Consider this. Every morning you have two choices. You can wake up and run the same old race, following the same old rules. Or you can decide to write your own rule book. The power of personal action lies in this decision. It's the difference between living a life of quiet desperation and one of joyful fulfillment. But here's the kicker. This power has always been within you. You've always had the ability to change your life. You just needed someone to remind you of it. Think back to when you were a child. You remember the endless possibilities? The world was your oyster and you were ready to crack it open. What happened to that spirit? Where did that fearless dreamer go? I'll tell you where. That spirit got buried under layers of should and must. Society told you to fall in line, to follow the crowd, to play it safe. And bit by bit, you started to believe it. But today, we're going to resurrect that spirit. We're going to dust off those dreams and breathe the new life into them. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Change never is. But I promise you, it's going to be worth it. You see, when you start living life on your own terms, something magical happens. The world opens up, colors become brighter, food tastes better, even the air feels fresher. Why? Because you're no longer living someone else's life. You're living yours. But here's the thing. This transformation doesn't happen overnight. It's not about making one big dramatic change. It's about making small, consistent choices every single day. It's about waking up each morning and asking yourself, what do I truly want? Not what your parents want. Not what society expects. What are you And then it's about having the courage to act on that answer. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, but I have responsibilities. I can't just do whatever I want. And you're right. We all have obligations. But here's a secret. Fulfilling your responsibilities and living life on your own terms are not mutually exclusive. In fact, when you start living authentically, you'll find that you have more energy, more passion, and more drive to meet your obligations than ever before. Because here's the truth. When you're living a life that aligns with your values and desires, everything else falls into place. But it all starts with action. You can have all the dreams in the world, but without action, they're just that. So let me ask you this. What's one small action you can take today to start living life on your own terms? Maybe it's finally signing up for that class you've always wanted to take. Maybe it's having that difficult conversation you've been putting off. Maybe it's simply taking 10 minutes to sit in silence and reconnect with your true desires. Whatever it is, I want you to commit to it right now because that one small action could be the first step on a journey that changes everything. Remember, the power to change your life doesn't lie in some distant future. It's not waiting for the perfect moment. The power is here now in this very moment. You have the ability to reshape your reality, to rewrite the rules, to create a life that fills you with joy and purpose. But it all starts with a decision. A decision to stop living by default and start living by design. So I ask you, are you ready? Are you ready to take control of your life? Are you ready to start living on your own terms? Because if you are, if you're truly ready to embrace the power of personal action, then buckle up. 
because you're about to embark on the most exciting journey of your life. A journey of self-discovery, a journey of growth, a journey that will lead you to a life beyond your wildest dreams. But remember, this journey isn't about reaching a destination. It's about who you become along the way. As you start to take action, as you start to live life on your own terms, you'll find yourself transforming. You'll become more confident, more resilient, more alive. You'll start to see opportunities where others see obstacles. You'll find strength in situations that would have once defeated you. And most importantly, you'll start to experience a deep sense of satisfaction. The kind of satisfaction that comes from knowing you're living life on your own terms. But here's the beautiful thing. This transformation doesn't just benefit you. As you start to live authentically, you become an inspiration to others. Your courage to break free from societal norms gives others permission to do the same. Your joy becomes contagious. Your success becomes a beacon of hope for those still trapped in lives of quiet desperation. So in a way, by choosing to live life on your own terms, you're not just changing your life, you're changing the world. Now, I know this might sound daunting. You might be thinking, that's a lot of pressure. But remember, it all starts with one small action. You don't have to have it all figured out. You don't need to know exactly where you're going. You just need to take that first step. Because here's the truth. The path reveals itself to those who start walking. So I challenge you, take that first step. Make that decision. Choose to live life on your own terms. Because when you do, when you harness the power of personal action, you unlock a life of limitless possibility. A life where you're the author of your own story. A life where you wake up every morning excited for the day ahead. A life where you go to bed every night satisfied knowing you've lived true to yourself. That's the power of personal action. That's the reward of living life on your own terms. And it's all within your grasp. Right here, right now. So what are you waiting for? Your life is calling. It's time to answer. Now that we've recognized the power of personal action, it's time to dig deeper. We're going to uncover the essence of who you truly are and what you genuinely want from life. This is where the real work begins, discovering your own rules. You might be wondering, what does it mean to have my own rules? Well, let me put it this way. Your rules are the principles that guide your decisions, shape your behavior, and ultimately determine the quality of your life. But here's the catch. Most of us are living by rules we didn't choose. We've inherited them from our parents, absorbed them from society, or pick them up along the way without even realizing it. And that's why so many of us feel unfulfilled even when we're doing everything we're supposed to do. So how do we break free from these inherited rules and create our own? It starts with self-reflection. And I mean real honest, sometimes uncomfortable self-reflection. Ask yourself, what truly matters to me? Not what should matter, not what others think should matter, but what resonates deep in your core. Is it freedom, creativity, security, relationships, adventure? There's no right or wrong answer here. What matters is that it's true for you. Now this might sound simple, but don't be fooled. This process of self-discovery can be challenging. Why? Because it requires us to question everything we've been taught to believe about success, happiness, and what constitutes a good life. You might find that what you truly value doesn't align with what society tells you to value. And that's okay. In fact, that's more than okay. It's essential for living an authentic life. Consider this. How many people do you know who are climbing the corporate ladder? Because they think that's what they're supposed to do, even though it makes them miserable. How many are in relationships that look good on paper, but leave them feeling empty inside? These are the consequences of living by someone else's rules. And it's time to break free from that trap. So, let's get practical. How do we actually go about discovering our own rules? Start by taking inventory of your life. Look at how you spend your time, your money, your energy. 
Are these choices aligned with what you claim to value? If not, why not? For example, if you say you value health, but you're constantly skipping workouts and eating junk food, there's a disconnect. Either health isn't really a top priority for you, which is fine if that's true, or you're not living in alignment with your values. Next, pay attention to when you feel most alive, most energized, most like yourself. What are you doing in those moments? Who are you with? These are clues to what truly matters to you. Also, notice what makes you angry or frustrated. Our irritations often point to violated values. If you get upset when plans change at the last minute, maybe you value structure and predictability more than you realize. Now, as you're doing this self-examination, be prepared for some surprises. You might discover that some of the goals you've been pursuing aren't actually your own. They might be expectations you've internalized from others. This realization can be unsettling. You might feel like you've wasted time chasing the wrong things. But I urge you to reframe this. It's not wasted time, it's valuable information. Now you know what doesn't work for you, and that's powerful knowledge. Remember, this process isn't about judging yourself. It's about understanding yourself. There's no shame in realizing you've been living by someone else's rules. The important thing is that you're taking steps to change that. As you start to identify your true values and priorities, you'll naturally begin to formulate your own rules. These aren't rigid laws, but guiding principles that help you make decisions aligned with your authentic self. For instance, if you discover that personal growth is a core value for you, one of your rules might be, I will always choose learning over comfort. This rule could guide you in big decisions, like taking on a challenging new job, and in small daily choices, like reading a book instead of watching TV. Or maybe you realize that meaningful relationships are what matter most to you. Your rule might be, I will prioritize quality time with loved ones over material pursuits. This could influence how you spend your weekends, how you approach your career, even where you choose to live. The beauty of creating your own rules is that they're entirely personal. What works for someone else might not work for you, and that's perfectly fine. Your rules should reflect your unique values, circumstances, and aspirations. Now, I can almost hear some of you thinking, but what about responsibilities? What about the expectations others have of me? And these are valid concerns. We don't live in a vacuum. We have families, jobs, societal roles. But here's the thing. Creating your own rules doesn't mean abandoning all responsibilities. It means approaching those responsibilities in a way that aligns with your values. It means making conscious choices about which expectations you'll meet and which ones you'll respectfully decline. For example, if your family expects you to pursue a certain career, but it doesn't align with your values, your room might be. I will honor my family's wishes where I can, but not at the expense of my own fulfillment. This allows you to maintain important relationships while still staying true to yourself. As you start living by your own rules, you'll likely face resistance, both from others and from within yourself. Old habits die hard, and the people in your life might be uncomfortable with the changes they see in you. But stand firm. Remember why you're doing this? You're not just arbitrarily changing things up. You're aligning your life with your deepest truths. And that's worth fighting for. Now, a word of caution. Discovering and implementing your own rules is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process. As you grow and evolve, so too will your values and priorities. What matters to you at 25 might be different from what matters at 45 or 65. So make it a habit to regularly check in with yourself. Are your current rules still serving you? Do they still reflect what's most important to you? If not, have the courage to revise them. This flexibility is crucial. Your rules aren't a cage to trap you. They're a framework to support you. They should empower you to live your best life, not restrict you from growth and change. As you continue on this journey of self-discovery and authentic living, you'll start to notice changes. You'll feel more confident in your decisions. You'll have a clearer sense of direction. 
you'll experience a deeper sense of satisfaction and fulfillment. But perhaps most importantly, you'll feel a sense of freedom. Freedom from the weight of others' expectations. Freedom from the nagging feeling that you're living someone else's life. Freedom to be truly, unapologetically you. And that freedom, it's intoxicating. It's energizing. It's what makes life worth living. So I challenge you to start today. Begin the process of discovering your own rules. Question your assumptions. Examine your choices. Listen to It won't always be easy. There will be moments of doubt, moments of fear. But I promise you it will be worth it. Because on the other side of this journey is a life of authenticity, purpose, and joy. A life lived on your own terms, guided by your own rules. And isn't that what we're all really after? A life that feels true to who we are at our core? So go forth, discover your rules, and then have the courage to live by them. Because when you do, you won't just change your life. You'll set an example that could change the world. Remember, you are the author of your own story. It's time to write the rules that will make it a masterpiece. Now that you've begun to uncover your own rules and values, it's time to bridge the gap between knowing and doing. This is where the rubber meets the road, where we transform insight into action. You see? Understanding yourself is only half the battle. The real challenge and the real reward comes from living out those truths every single day. But let's be honest, taking action can be scary. It's one thing to recognize that you've been living by someone else's rules. It's quite another to start breaking those rules and forging your own path. So why is it so difficult to act even when we know what we should do? Fear. It's that simple and that complex. Fear of failure, fear of success, fear of the unknown, fear of disapproval. These are the invisible chains that keep us bound to our old ways, even when we long for something new. But here's a secret. Action is the antidote to fear. When you take that first step, no matter how small, you prove to yourself that change is possible. You build momentum. You create hope. So how do we begin? How do we move from theory to practice? Start small, I mean really small. So small that it seems almost insignificant. Because here's the truth, no action is insignificant when it's aligned with your values. Let's say one of your newly discovered rules is I prioritize my health and well-being. Don't immediately try to overall your entire lifestyle. Instead, start with drinking an extra glass of water each day or taking a five-minute walk. These actions might seem trivial, but they're not. They're the seeds of massive change. Why? Because success breeds success. Each small win builds your confidence. It reinforces your new identity. It creates positive momentum that can carry you through bigger challenges. Think of it like pushing a boulder. The hardest part is getting it to move that first inch. But once it's rolling, it becomes easier to keep it going. Now, as you start taking these small actions, you'll likely encounter resistance. Old habits will try to reassert themselves. The comfort of the familiar will call to you. This is normal. In fact, it's a good sign. It means you're pushing against the boundaries of your comfort zone. But here's where many people falter. They interpret this discomfort as a sign that they're doing something wrong. They think if this were right for me, it wouldn't be so hard. Nothing could be further from the truth. Growth is uncomfortable. Change is uncomfortable. If you're feeling uncomfortable, it means you're growing. So how do we push through this discomfort? By building new habits. You see, willpower is a finite resource. You can't rely on it to make the right choice every single time. That's why we need to create systems, habits and routines that align with our new rules. For instance, if one of your rules is, I will continually educate myself, don't leave it to chance. Set a specific time each day for learning. Maybe it's reading for 30 minutes every morning or listening to an educational podcast during your commute. By turning it into a habit, you remove the need for decision making. It becomes automatic. But here's the case with yourself as you build these new habits. Research shows it can take anywhere from 18 to 254 days for a new behavior 
to become automatic. That's a wide range and where you fall on it will depend on the complexity of the habit and your individual circumstances. The point is, don't expect overnight transformation. Sustainable change takes time, but every day you stick to your new habits. You're rewiring your brain. You're literally becoming a new person. Now, as you're taking action and building new habits, it's crucial to regularly assess your progress. Are your actions aligning with your rules? Are you seeing the results you want? If not, don't be discouraged. This is valuable feedback. Maybe you need to adjust your approach. Maybe you need to break your goal down into even smaller steps. Or maybe you've discovered that what you thought you wanted isn't actually what you need. This is all part of the process. Remember, you're not just changing your actions, you. You're discovering who you truly are and what you truly want. As you continue to take action, you'll likely face setbacks. There will be days when you slip back into old patterns. When this happens, and it will happen, don't beat yourself up. Treat it as a learning opportunity. Ask yourself, what triggered this setback? What can I learn from it? How can I set myself up for success next time? This mindset, treating setbacks as feedback rather than failure, is crucial. It's what separates those who give up from those who keep pushing forward. Now, let's talk about a critical aspect, uh, taking acts, dealing with the reactions of others as you start living by your own rules. Some people in your life might be uncomfortable. They're used to the old you, the one who lived by their rules. Your changes might challenge their worldview or make them question their own choices. You might face criticism, skepticism, even outright opposition. This can be painful, especially if it comes from people you care about. But remember this, their reaction is about them, not you. It's a reflection of their fears, their insecurities, their resistance to change. Don't let it deter you from your path. Instead, see it as an opportunity to practice another important scheme. Standing firm in your convictions while remaining compassionate towards others. You can respect their perspective without abandoning your own. And here's something amazing. As you continue to take action, as you consistently live by your own rules, something will shift. The people around you will begin to see the positive changes in your life. Some might even be inspired to make changes in their own lives. You see, taking action doesn't just transform you. It has the power to transform those around you. By living authentically, you give others permission to do the same. Now, as you're putting your new rules into practice, you'll likely discover areas where you need to develop new skills. Maybe you need to learn how to set boundaries or how to manage your time more effectively or how to communicate your needs more clearly. Don't shy away from this. Embrace it. Seek out resources, books, courses, mentors that can help you develop these skills. Remember, every skill you acquire is a tool that helps you live more fully by your own rules. As you continue on this journey, taking action day after day, you'll start to notice something profound. The gap between who you are and who you want to be will begin to close. You'll feel more aligned, more authentic, more alive. But here's the beautiful paradox. As you get closer to becoming the person you want to be, your vision of what's possible will expand. You'll set new goals, dream bigger dreams. And that's exactly as it should be. Because this journey of taking action, of living by your own rules, isn't about reaching a final destination. It's about continual growth, continual discovery, continual becoming. So keep pushing forward. Keep taking those small actions that align with your values. Keep building those habits that support your new rules. Keep learning, keep growing, keep becoming. Remember, every action you take is a vote for the person you want to become. Make those votes count. You have within you the power to create a life of meaning, purpose, and joy. A life that's true to who you are at your core. But that life won't create itself. It's up to you to bring it into being, one action at a time. So I ask you, what action will you take today 
What small step will you make towards living by your own rules? Don't wait for the perfect moment. Don't wait until you feel ready. The perfect moment is now. You become ready by beginning. Take that first step, then take another, and another. Before you know it, you'll look back and be amazed at how far you've come. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Your journey, the journey to a life lived on your own terms, begins now. So go forth, take action, practice your new rules, and watch as your life transforms before your eyes. Because when you align your actions with your deepest truths, when you have the courage to live by your own rules, you don't just change your life. You inspire others. You contribute to the world in a way that only you can. And isn't that what we're all here for? To live fully, to grow continuously, to contribute meaningfully. So take action. Start now. Your future self will thank you. So we've taken this path of self-discovery and action. You might be wondering, what's next? Where does all this lead? The answer, my friends, is nothing short of extraordinary. We're about to explore the profound rewards that come from living a life guided by your own rules and fueled by self-directed action. Think back to where we started. You were living by someone else's playbook, following rules you never chose. Now you've uncovered your true values, crafted your own rules, and begun taking consistent action. The transformation you've undergone is remarkable, but the best is yet to come. You see, when you align your actions with your authentic self, when you consistently make choices that resonate with your core values, something magical happens. Life takes on a new vibrancy. Colors seem brighter, flavors more intense. You wake up each morning with a sense of purpose and anticipation. But don't just take my word for it. Let's look at some real life examples of individuals who've embraced this way of living. Consider Sarah, a corporate lawyer who always felt a nagging sense of dissatisfaction despite her impressive salary and prestigious position. Through self-reflection, she realized that her true passion lay in environmental conservation. It took courage, but she left her high paying job to start a nonprofit focused on protecting local ecosystems. Was it scary? Absolutely. Did she face skepticism from friends and family? You bet. But Sarah reports that she's never felt more alive, more purposeful. For the first time, she says, I feel like I'm living, not just existing. Or take Michael, a teacher who'd always dreamed of traveling the world, but felt bound by societal expectations to settle down and start a family. After much soul searching, he decided to take a year off to backpack across continents. He feared he was being selfish, irresponsible even. But here's what Michael discovered. His travels not only fulfilled his personal dreams, but also made him a better teacher. He returned with a wealth of experiences that brought his lessons to life, inspiring his students in ways he never could have before. By honoring his own desires, he enhanced his ability to serve others. Their stories illustrate a fundamental truth. When you live authentically, when you take self-directed action, you don't just benefit yourself. You become a source of inspiration and positive change for those around you. But let's be clear. This way of living isn't always easy. There will be challenges. Doubts will creep in. You'll face resistance, both internal and external. There will be days when you question everything. In those moments, remember this. This comfort is the price of growth each challenge you face is an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment to your authentic self. Each obstacle overcome is a testament to your resilience and determination. Moreover, as you continue to live by your own rules, you'll find that your capacity for handling challenges increases. What once seemed insurmountable becomes manageable. Your confidence grows. Your resilience strengthens. This is the compounding effect of aligned choices. Each decision that honors your true self builds upon the last. Over time, these choices create a momentum that carries you forward, even in the face of adversity. Now let's talk about success. When you're living your best life, guided by your own rules, success takes on a new meaning. 
It's no longer about meeting someone else's benchmarks or ticking boxes on a socially approved checklist. Success becomes deeply personal. It's about achieving harmony between your inner values and your outer actions. It's about waking up each day feeling excited about what lies ahead. It's about going to bed each night with a sense of fulfillment, knowing you've lived true to yourself. And here's something remarkable. When you redefine success in this way, you often find that traditional markers of achievement naturally follow. Why? Because when you're aligned with your authentic self, you tap into wellsprings of passion, creativity, and drive that you never knew you had. You become unstoppable, not because you're chasing success, but because you're expressing your truest self. And the world responds to that authenticity. But perhaps the greatest reward of living a self-directed life is the impact you have on others. You become a living example of what's possible when someone has the courage to break free from societal expectations and live authentically. Your journey inspires others to question their own lives, to examine their own choices. You become a catalyst for positive change, not through preaching or persuading, but simply by being true to yourself. Think about it. How many times have you been moved to action by someone who was clearly passionate about what they were doing? There's something magnetic about a person who's living in alignment with their values. They radiate an energy that's both inspiring and contagious. By living your best life, you give others permission to do the same. You contribute to a shift in collective consciousness, moving us towards a world where authenticity is valued over conformity, where individual fulfillment is recognized as a key to societal well-being. Now, as you continue on this path, you'll discover another profound truth. The journey never really ends. Living your best life isn't a destination you reach. It's a continual process of growth, discovery, and refinement. Your values may evolve. Your understanding of yourself will deepen. The rules you live by may need adjustment as you gain new insights and experiences. And that's perfectly okay. In fact, it's wonderful. Because each refinement each adjustment brings you closer to your truest self. This ongoing journey keeps life exciting. There's always something new to learn, always room for growth. You never stop evolving, never stop becoming. And isn't that a thrilling way to live? To wake up each day knowing that you're not stuck, that you have the power to shape your, your life, to continually move towards greater alignment and fulfillment? As you embrace this lifelong journey of self-discovery and authentic living, you'll also find that your impact on the world grows. The ripple effects of your choices extend further than you might imagine. By living true to yourself, you create a legacy. Not necessarily a legacy of wealth or fame, but something far more valuable. A legacy of authenticity, of courage, of living life on your own terms. You inspire your children to pursue their passions. You encourage your friends to question their assumptions. You show your colleagues that there's more than one path to success. Your very existence becomes a challenge to the status quo, a testament to the power of self-directed living. And as more people are inspired to live authentically, we move closer to a world where individuality is celebrated, where diverse paths are respected, where each person's unique gifts are recognized and valued. Imagine a world like that, a world where people are encouraged to discover and express their authentic selves, a world where success is measured not by conformity to external standards, but by alignment with internal values. A world where the question, what do you do, is replaced by what lights you up. That's the world we're creating, one authentic life at a time, and you, by choosing to live your best life, are contributing to this transformation. So I ask you, are you ready to fully embrace this journey? Are you prepared to consistently choose authenticity over conformity, growth over comfort, self-direction over societal expectations? The path won't always be easy. There will be setbacks. There will be doubts. There will be times when the pull of the familiar is strong. But I promise you this, the rewards are worth it. The sense of alignment, the deep fulfillment, the knowledge that you're living true to yourself. 
You have within you everything. You need to live your best life. You have the wisdom to craft your own rules, the strength to take action, and the resilience to keep going even when things get tough. All that's required is your commitment, your commitment to honor your authentic self, to continually grow and evolve, to make choices aligned with your deepest values. So what will you choose? Will you continue down this path of self-discovery and authentic living? Will you embrace the challenges and the rewards of a self-directed life? The choice is yours. And that, my friends, is the most beautiful thing of all. The power to shape your life, to live by your own rules, to create a legacy of authenticity. It's all in your hands. So go forth, live your best life, take self-directed action, and watch as your world transforms, as you inspire others, as you contribute to a more authentic, fulfilling world for all. Remember, every moment is an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment to living authentically. Every choice is a chance to honor your true self. Every day is a new beginning on this exciting journey of self-directed living. Your best life is waiting. It's time to claim it.